everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a chilled out, realistic evening routine video after my nine to five course training to be a journalist at News Associates in Twickenham. My commute takes roughly an hour and I'll usually entertain myself by reading the news or listening to a podcast. Normally I listen to the news agents but they hadn't updated their new episode yet so I did a little bit of revision of the Ipso code with this really handy podcast, would recommend. So I am just back, I actually got back quite early today, it's 20 past six so it only took me 50 minutes to commute which was very nice. I have had a pretty busy day, exams are coming up, my first set of exams and these are just a complete different ballpark to anything I ever did at Oxford and there's one particularly called Essential Journalism which is basically a lot of reporting, social media analytics, headlines, like the editor's code of practice, like moral ethical issues, all of that sort of stuff and I understand it in principle but I'm really struggling with the two hours that you have to do it in, I just cannot write quick enough so I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed at the moment that being said, tonight is going to have to be busy because I actually have a mock exam for that tomorrow and I also have shorthand and you kind of need to keep shorthand ticking over if you want to pass that, so it's going to be very busy. The first thing I tend to do when I get home pretty much every single day is make my lunch because if I don't make my lunch straight away, I just won't do it and I'm trying to be quite strict about that because I don't want to waste food, so I'm going to do that now. Whilst listening to, oh there's my Kellogg radio and Rob's Yoda egg cup, how cool, whilst listening to some magic radio because I feel like I've listened to news today, the government is potentially collapsing again today, it's just a bit much, I'm just going to put some nice tunes on. So what I have for lunch tends to vary because I kind of have phases of lunch, same as breakfast, but this week I've been having a falafel, hummus, pepper and lettuce bagel with some like sriracha mayo on which has been really really nice and I love the sesame seed bagels particularly and it's very filling. Um, so I had that in my lunchbox along with some snacks and also some grapes. Um, usually whoever one of us out the two of us is back first will either prep dinner or will prep and cook dinner. I think today I'm going to prep and cook it because Rob is back later than most nights. Um, we're having a laxa, I'm very excited about it. Rob's having chicken, I'm having corn chicken and it's a HelloFresh recipe so it should be relatively easy to do. This video is not sponsored by HelloFresh but I do use them on a weekly basis so it would be weird to not include them anyway. So because Rob wasn't going to be back for quite a while I decided to prep the ingredients and then come back to it in a bit because prep is always the longest and most tedious part of doing it. <laughs> I'm all about showing reality on this evening routine and my next job is to put away both the laundry and the pile of clothes which we have dumped on top of the laundry the last two days because we've been so busy. So I'm going to put this away now. It doesn't normally look like this actually but to be honest for the purposes of being real this is what it looks like right now. But it won't in a minute. <laughs> and thankfully the new News Agents podcast has actually come out so I'm going to put this on while I do it. Away is genuinely my least favourite task, hence why it's been done on Wednesday when I always do the laundry on a Sunday. I'm now going to get started on dinner and to be honest I'm quite nervous about cooking this one because I kind of want to do it justice but it means I don't have to do the washing up. Does anyone else who lives with other people, flatmates, have the cook, you cook, I wash up policy because that is the best thing ever. If you put the effort into cooking you don't have to worry about washing up. If you get to sit there while somebody cooks you dinner you just have to do the washing up afterwards. Like, it's just great. I love it. <laughs> For the context of the following clips, I should say that Rob is a musical theatre student and does have a tendency to randomly sing at pretty much any hour of the day. <laughs> I was just trying to get you singing on camera. No. Oh. That would cost you money. My, my dear. Well, I've been told. So Rob had chicken with his and I had corn chicken which doesn't look quite as appetising and then we watched the Bake Off or the rest of the Bake Off should I say. Hello, so dinner has been had, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit stressed whilst making dinner and had a little bit of a cry because I am just feeling a little bit overwhelmed at the moment by how much there kind of is to do but that's okay it happens and unfortunately I do just have to kind of bite the bullet tonight and just do a few things otherwise I'm going to get even more overwhelmed so I'm just watching the end of Bake Off now and I am actually creasing at the bags under my eyes like they are a new level of bags 
I don't think I've seen bags this big on this channel uh, for, for a long, long time. But then I'm going to get cracking with probably about 45 minutes to an hour of shorthand. You're supposed to do two hours, but I just don't have the time for that or the energy. And then I need to write some questions for an interview and just run over a couple of little things for the essential journalism mock tomorrow. But I'm going to do that in the morning, I think, probably because it'll be fresh in my head. And then... Yet more stuff needs to be done. So where I do my work in the evening really does tend to depend. If I'm in a mood where I really just want to bash it out, get it done, then I will tend to sit at the kitchen table. But tonight, because I have had a bit of a long day and I kind of just want to do it at my own pace this evening, I'm going to do it here in the comfort of my warm, cosy bed. I've got my cosy jumper on, I've got some PJ bottoms on and I'm gonna get cracking with it because the sooner I start, the sooner it's out of the way. <laughs> so first port of call tonight is some shorthand. Please ignore that very messy shorthand, but basically there are some passages on the chat which I'm gonna practice and they have the outlines. And I had one today that didn't go particularly well. So I'm gonna try and get that one perfected and maybe do two more tonight. The aim is to do three and then call it a night. I can confirm today that this is true. We have removed them from sale. You can probably hear Rob singing in the background. He's just practicing his songs. He has um, a class for it tomorrow. Um, I am honestly at the end of my tether with shorthand. Like, I know it will happen and I know that one day it will just click. But I have done this same passage at 80 words a minute, maybe like... 10 11 times and i just cannot write that quickly like i know what the outlines are and even when i've basically memorized what the passage is i still cannot write quick enough to write it all down and i'm just trying not to get too upset but honestly i just want to throw it out the window so that's fun i, I really wanted this to be like a super cute productive evening but i actually feel like this is quite good um to film because it's not all sunshine and rainbows. And I am just getting so frustrated. I actually got so frustrated just I threw my textbook at the wall, uh, which is cute. Um, I'm gonna keep trying, but I'm only gonna do it for an hour. I reckon I'm probably just gonna do this one passage and then I'm just gonna give it up for today and hope that it clicks overnight. Very excitingly, I'm now just putting the food shop together for next week, just adding and removing things from the basket. We tend to get our food shop delivered now because it's just easier. So it's just easier. I've had enough of your voice on the vlog tonight. Every clip I've filmed, your voice has been in the background. So then I just wrote the interview questions that I talked about and then just carried on with a couple more emails and admin things while Rob was next to me doing some admin as well. Hello, it's me again. I'm just watching the news now, watching the papers. Um, <laughs> this is Rob's Teddy Scoobs, who is also a Chelsea fan. So I gave up the shorthand tonight, so it was a little bit of a flop, but equally it's 11 o'clock and I've still not done everything that I kind of need to do today. So that just shows how, you know, I feel like I need to mute this as I'm talking over him. Just shows how, you know, busy things are at the moment. Not every night is super, super intense, but because we have exams coming up, like there is just kind of a lot to do and not a lot of time to really do it. But anyway, I am just gonna go ahead, wash my face, etc., and then just chill out for a little bit before heading to sleep. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit uneventful, um, but I hope you enjoyed seeing a realistic evening in my life, seeing what I get up to. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I don't even know if I'm going to upload it, but hope you enjoyed it. If I did, uh, let me know if you'd like to see something similar again, if you'd like to see another week in the life, and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>